It is the biggest deal ever in the semiconductor industry, and it is being driven by the increasing need for speed, for people to be connected fast to the Internet, wherever and whenever they choose. Avago Technologies has agreed to buy Broadcom. The price? $37 billion in cash and stock, a deal we reported was deeply in the works last night. The combined company will have its technology in a wide range of products, from smartphones to tablets, modems, data centers as well. Shares of Broadcom fell about 1.5% today, but that follows a 20% rise yesterday on speculation a deal was near. Avago shares closed higher by a fraction. Bertha Coombs has our story tonight on the deal and the flurry of activity in the sector. It's a record-setting semiconductor deal. Avago, which makes chips that power everything from cell phones and car radios to data storage, is paying $37 billion to acquire rival Broadcom, which makes Wi-Fi chips for Samsung and Apple phones, internet modems, and cable TV boxes. You're combining arguably one of the best engineering teams in all of technology, and I'm referring to Broadcom with you know, arguably the best management team in the semiconductor industry, Avago, has uh, just a terrific track record um, around integration of acquisitions, particularly over the last couple of years. If they're so strong, why merge? Analysts say beyond the mobile phone sector, demand for chips has slowed, particularly in the PC and corporate enterprise markets, leaving too many players without enough growth. It is an insanely competitive uh, supply market. You know, we talk about companies like Avago and Broadcom, but there are so many companies that we've never heard of uh, who are very, very successful suppliers. Uh, so it's really all about economies of scale. The result has been a wave of consolidation. Wireless chip maker NXP bought Freescale Semi for $11 billion in March. Intel is said to be in the hunt for an acquisition. And Avago, after buying LSI last year, will now become the third largest U.S. chip maker after the deal for Broadcom closes, although its headquarters is in Singapore. It gives them a huge advantage against other semiconductor companies in terms of being able to, to make acquisitions and to kick out more cash flow. Analysts say Avago's aggressive move will likely pressure its larger rivals, Intel and Qualcomm, to look for deals as well. Expect more acquisitions ahead. Bertha Coombs, Nightly Business Report. New York.